Kate, one small detail. Once we get through that ice, getting back up might be tricky. Then I guess we'll have to deal with that. Solid observation. All right, let's get this phosphorus cooking. Phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah? Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... Oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on. Safety first. Our radio tower. It means the lab's not far. Come on. Jack, you good? You, you know you don't have to be honest. Sooner or later, they'll know who you really are. Getting in there, not with those turrets in place. Well, that's not gonna work. Generator here. Trap for Friday, I think. Mm -hmm. 
We need to overload the generator. Sounds like that did the trick. Shit. We didn't get all of them. Gotta be another generator somewhere. Big difference between this place and the boat. They weren't worried about getting found. No fake shipping depot, no front. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day oh uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think that welcome home? Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage can. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind terribly? Miserable little garbage can. Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. 
Let's find a generator. Did it. Well then, let's get back to that garbage can. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good like that. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. Del, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung, but it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh, well, water under the bridge. Please, this way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this alone. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. This next area is quite fascinating. The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miners' children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. Especially interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile, a problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different, highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, oh shit. Hey, hey, Jack! Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. 
But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira, or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Reyna. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Hey, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Or maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed her. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. It... You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me something. My grandfather. Who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right.
But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. Ah, he's done it. Your little friend is quite handy. Hey, watch it. Jack spoke before. Well, you do make a lovely couple. Would you please follow me? your life's work turn on you. I choose to view it differently. The Locust longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. 
I still am. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your leg, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. You better. Alive. What? It, 
it wasn't really her, except, except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on, he went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. After him. Get back here, Niles. God damn it, shit. Surely you see I've done you a kindness. You are no longer vulnerable to the high mind and your mother has been awakened. Well, so to speak. Ugh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I don't think he can hear us. I don't give a shit! Cryogenic lockdown commencing. Please exit the lab immediately. Shit. We gotta stop. Look for a way through. Something. There's gotta be a way to lift this lockdown. 